It's a battle of the nights. A win tonight by the Norwell girls would clinch the Northeast 8 conference title. Norwell welcoming East Noble. And the Knights building a big lead in the third. Vanessa Rossworm steps into the mid-range jumper and a splash. Then Rossworm and Kennedy filling, teaming up on a trap. The turnover leads to filling, filling it up for two of her game-high 27 points. Then it's filling, assisting, whipping the pass here into the corner. Lillian Norris lets loose the triple, downing 15 points as Norwell rolls to a conference title, 72 to 33. A little senior night fun at Leo before the Lions take on Belmont. Low scoring battle here. Leo will get this early three courtesy of senior Emily Cogdell. Belmont pulling in front though. They swing it over to Laney French. And the freshman getting a friendly roll knocks down the three for the Braves. Final seconds of the first quarter now. Emily Bleaky cues up a three and she splashes it home. Belmont will pick up the win on the road 48 to 20. Woodland raring to host Prairie Heights. The Warriors' Reagan Weidenhofer rips away for Trey. Panthers back the other way, working inside to McKinley Kane. But this game, all Woodland. Brooke Knibuler, she's left alone. That's a bad idea. She lands the two as the Warriors roll 57 to 35. And now to the Tiger Den. Bluffton and Jay County boys clashing in a game that does not feature much offense. The score 3-0 after the first quarter. Axton Bestie knocks down the mid-range for Bluffton out to a commanding 5-0 lead. Jay County starting to wake up. Three-pointer up and good for Graydon Swoveland. And then they go back to Swoveland into the lane. Fadeaway jumper on target. Swoveland leads JC with 12 points. And the Patriots beat Bluffton. This is the correct score, not a typo. 31-14. Hmm. to 14.